So hello, this is Connor from the Miniature Architect and this video is just kicking off a quick series on a sort of behind the scenes. So I'm going to put together some videos of um, me designing the models so you can see the different elements that go into the models. And also I'm going to grab some shots of them being manufactured because who doesn't like lasers? And, you know, maybe this will be helpful if you're making your own models, if you're just interested in seeing what goes on in the manufacturing process. Um, I mean, this video is just going to be a quick introduction. Um, you can see here I'm in Adobe Illustrator CC, which is my design program of choice. <laughs> I think it's um, a, a lot better than the free ones on the market. I mean, Adobe Illustrator is ludicrously expensive. I think it's like 50 quid a month for the for the Adobe package. Um, but I do believe you can get Adobe Illustrator CS2, which is an earlier version, for free. Um, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Obviously, it's older, so it won't have a few of the tools that I use um, in it. But, you know, there's always workarounds. Um, and for free... <sighs> It's just I I think it's I think personally it's much better software than the um, open source alternatives. So in Illustrator here, I've got a model that such I'm actually going to yeah I'm hopefully going to get this cut out tomorrow so I can see how it all fits together. So this was one that I designed the other day, and let me just get rid of these here. They are just the edges of the nets. And these are all the different component pieces which I will be cutting out um, and putting together to check that it all works. So up here, these pieces will be cut from 2mm MDF. And down here, we've got the pieces that I'll cut from 3mm MDF. Now, I much prefer to work with 3mm MDF. It's what I've worked with for a long time. Um, I've only recently started using 2mm. And for 15mm, you can just about get away with it. Um, you know, maybe some people feel the walls are too thick, but I, I don't know. I think it gives you a no, nice, robust feeling. I think the joints are nice and solid as well, which is always nice when you're putting something together. Um, but then I've started to in incorporate 2mm, so if I can show you here, if I just make this into a bit of a solid shape, in fact, let's do all these as solid shit, there we go, boom, just like that. So you can see these sort of long pieces with little tabs on the end. These are going to end up as stairs. And then we've got this sort of hexagonal piece with obviously some a segment missing here and the center missing. This is going to be the first floor, ground floor, first floor, or first floor, second floor, the, the floor above the bottom. First floor. Yeah, first floor. This is going to be the first floor. And, you know, I could have used 3mm for this. Um, I can't even remember why I did end up using 2mm. I think it lined up with the stairs better. It was 1mm nicer. <laughs> um, and obviously 2mm cuts faster as well, which is good. Um, you know, makes it cheaper. But anyway, so up here we've got these stairs and the top floor in 2mm. And then down here, we've got the pieces that I'll be cutting in 3mm MDF. Um, and you can see here, we've got a big hexagonal. Let me just get rid of these. Ooh, a big hexagonal base piece. And you can see slots around the edge for these six walls. And the 
eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that these walls have actually got two mil slots in for these tabs here on our second floor, first floor, on this floor here. And then over here next to our six walls, we've got two internal walls and you can see the holes for those. And they're going to hold the other side of our steps. So the steps are going to curve around this corner here. And you can actually see the hole where the steps are going to come up to this floor from the ground floor. This is an interesting piece and actually the last piece I designed and this is going to fit in these two slots. What you might have noticed is we have these sort of triangle stairs and these are to go around the corner nice and smoothly but obviously they taper to a point so there's no room for a second tab on these inside walls. So what we've got here is a nice piece which should hopefully support each of the stairs um, and not let them drop down in the middle, which wouldn't work out very well. And then along the top, we've just got this sort of uh, castle wall-esque modern top. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of like battlements, uh, I guess, but, you know, with some hexagonal sort of shapes cut into it, or I guess... What's that? One, two, three, four, five. And then three more octagonal. Some sort of octagonal shapes, which I guess I was sort of working on the hexagons. I sort of wanted to put that in um, in the design there. And then we've got these that we deleted, but these are just some walls to go around the top of this floor around the edge around the edge there so this design hopefully i'm going to get it cut out tomorrow um i mean i can throw some footage up at the end of this video of it being lasered out and this is how i like to work i mean i'll do a bit of designing on something and then i'll cut it out and then i'll go back and redesign and cover up all my mistakes that I made the first time. I find it a lot easier um, because something that is blaringly obvious when you've cut it out will not be blaringly obvious right now. So the 3D sort of geometry, the way these pieces fit together, <laughs> there might be a bit, a bit here which, which just does not work. Maybe you can see it looking at this design. Um, but once it's cut out, you'll be able to see it nice and easily. So, like I say, this is just an introductory video. I'm gonna put it to. A, uh, I'm gonna close it off now. I'll uh, throw up some footage of this being lasered. But if you have any requests, so uh, what we can do some tutorials um, on how to design. I know a few people have got hobbyist lasers at home. So this might be interesting for, um, for you. I can throw up some footage of things actually being laser cut. We'll put a camera inside the laser, maybe on the head of the laser, which will be quite a cool shot. Um, and I can go through a model from the start and you can see where I start from and how that works out. Anyway, I hope this has been useful and we'll talk soon. So I did manage to get some impromptu shots um, while cutting out these pieces. You'll notice there's two cuts going on. Um, I do some 2mm MDF and some 3mm. But this just gives you an idea of the laser I'm working with. And a few cool shots of a laser beam.